The previous video in the playlist showed that a prime number can only be divided exactly by one and itself. Seven, for example, is a prime number, whereas six, we can see here, can be divided by more than one and itself. Six is not a prime number. In fact, we call six a composite number. Natural numbers, often called counting numbers, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on. Let's consider the number line. You can see I've got marks along the number line, and I'm just writing down the natural numbers against each of these marks. And we can see we can carry on in this direction here, which is the positive direction. So I can go beyond 14 to 15 to 16 to 17 and so on. Now if I choose a mark here between the 8 and the 9, that is not a natural number. In fact, we can say that that's going to have a fractional bit there. I can choose between 11 and 12. That's also not a natural number. But all of these here are all examples of natural numbers from 1 through to 14, i.e. We refer to them as counting numbers. Now it's worth pointing out, zero doesn't count, it's not a natural number. Any natural number can be broken down into a string of prime numbers all multiplied together. This is called expressing the number as a product of its prime factors, sometimes also referred to as prime factorization. The prime factors of a number can be found using a factor tree. Express 280 as a product of prime factors. We start by writing down the 280 and finding two numbers that when multiplied together give us 280. And we can see that's 28 and 10. We then look for two numbers that when multiplied together give us 28, which is 4 times 7. We then look for two numbers that when multiply together give us 4, which is 2 times 2. Then we do something similar for 10, and we see that's 2 times 5. Then at the end of the branches you can see I'm circling numbers. Now these happen to be prime numbers. So what we now do, we write them down starting at the 2s, then the next 2, and of course 5 comes next, so we write that one down. And then finally we write the 7 down. You can see we're multiplying them all together. And when you do that, you'll find out you get 280. So those numbers there are prime numbers. So if I write this down again here, what we can see is if I look at these, that's 2 to the power 3. Consequently, I can write it out again as 2 to the power 3 times 5 times 7. So what we've achieved here is we've taken the 280 and we've shown that it's 2 to the 3 times 5 times 7. In other words, 280 can be seen to be made up of prime factors all multiplied together, as we stated at the beginning of this video. To emphasize a point, I'm going to do this again, but this time I'm going to identify two different numbers to give me 280 14 times 20. 14 can then be 2 times 7, and the 20, well that can be 5 times 4. Now of course the 4 can be 2 times 2. Then we can circle all of the ends of the branches, and you will note that all of these are prime numbers. That's when we know we get to an end of a branch. They end up as a prime number. So we then write down the 2, then the next 2, because we do this in order, then there's the next 2 there, then of course 5 is the next number we need to write down here, and then finally the 7. And you can see we're multiplying them all together. Of course, these three 2's here can be written down as 2 to the 3. So I can rewrite this as 2 to the 3 times 5 times 7. Therefore, 280 can be written as its prime factors as follows. 2 to the 3 times 5 times 7. Now it should be obvious, and you should note, that they are the same. So doing it different ways gives the same result as you can see here. Let's do the same thing again but for a different number. Let's do it for 126. So we start off with 126 and we can find out that 2 times 63 gives us 126. 63 is 21 times 3 and 21 is 7 times 3. 
and we can then identify the prime numbers and then what we do we simply write them out as 2 times the 3 times the next 3 and that we can see we have a 7. 3 times 3 is 3 to the 2 so that becomes 2 times 3 to the 2 times 7. Therefore 126 is 2 times 3 to the 2 times 7. It is also possible to find the prime factors of a number by successively dividing by increasing prime numbers. Let's take the 126 and you build up a little table here and then you say well 2 will go into it 63 times. 2 won't go into 63 so we choose 3 which is the next prime number. That goes in 21 times. We then choose 3 again that will go into 21 7 times. Then we choose 7 because 7 will go into 7 once. 3 wouldn't go in. That's why we chose 7. We stop the division process when we arrive at 1 here. When we have a division that ends up with us having a 1 in this part of the table. What you then do, you take the 2 and you write this down. You then take the 3, writing that down, making sure you multiply them together. Then the next 3 multiplying that as well and then you multiply by the 7. This is 3 to the 2 so we can rewrite this as 2 times 3 to the 2 times 7. Therefore 126 equals 2 times 3 to the 2 times 7. And we can see that this and this well they're exactly the same. And what we can do now is choose. Do you want to use this approach to finding the prime factors of this one? Both methods work.